from Senator Laxon. That's a very valid point that Senator Laxon uh, just mentioned. No? And uh, just to follow up on that, on the same issue, no? bakit yung national government gusto i-monopolize yung pag-purchase? Bakit hindi na lang payagan, declin na rin yung L, yung GU, at yung private sector to do their own purchases? I understand that the COVAX facility will be cheaper, uh, ngunit, Kung whole of nation approach to, payagan na rin yung, yung private sector kung willing silang magbayad na mas mahal na iba yung presyo sa COVAX uh, facility. Yan yung national government. Tapos yung privado, they can have their own importation or the LGUs for, for that matter. No? So ba't hindi nalang payagan ng FDA yan o ng national government? Senator, uh, uh, yes. I can I make a comment yes, on that. Can I make a comment on that? Yeah. Yes, I, 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 before before before, before that, Senator Bila, let them answer first, and then you can uh, post your uh, your comment. Uh, go ahead, Director General Domingo. Yes, sir. So, Maraming salamat po, Mr. Senator, Mr. President. Uh, unang una po, it's a safety concern po kasi. Ang pong vaccine, the usual route, no, it takes about seven years to develop a vaccine and they only apply for a certificate of product registration or a marketing authorization once the phase three trials are all completed. Ang emergency use authorization po, the FDA allows the use of a product that is still under development. Nasa kalagitnaan pa lang po ng phase three trial ito, kaya lang meron pong kondisyon, no? meron tayong pandemic, Pangalawa, the known benefits outweigh the known and unknown na potential risk. So, hindi po approved product itong gagamitin natin. It's a product that we're using under emergency use. Pag ganun po, yung mga kumpanya, hindi rin po sila nagtitake ng responsibility para sa kanilang produkto. Ang national government po will take responsibility for using a product that is still under development. Kaya po hindi pa nila maaaring ibenta. Pero ang Department of Health po, maaari naman niyang i-designate ang mga LGU or ang private sector to be part of the national vaccination program. Para po mababantayan natin, kasi titingnan po natin lahat ng magkaka-adverse event, lahat po nangyayari dyan, kailangan very very close monitoring po tayo. So yung EUA po, it's not a marketing authorization. It's not a full approval or registration of the vaccine. We're only allowing it to be used under emergency circumstances. And this is what's happening all over the world. Sa lahat po ng bansa na ginagamit ngayon ng mga bakuna, national government po ang nagko-control ng vaccination dahil ito po lahat ay under EUA pa lang at wala pa pong bakuna na ready magpa-full registration anywhere po sa buong mundo. Now, the comment of Senator Villar, go ahead. Uh, based, based on my personal information, ni inapproach na rin ng AstraZeneca ang mga LGUs. So they're signing, they're signing uh, agreement with AstraZeneca because they were approached by AstraZeneca. And meron na rin mga private companies na inapproach na rin ng AstraZeneca. So they will be signing agreement with AstraZeneca and even Moderna has approached uh, people also in the Philippines. Kaya importante na magbigay na yung FDA ng approval, kahit emergency use approval. Kasi kung hindi makakabili gobyerno, di pa ba yan bumili yung LGUs at saka yung mga private para makatulong sa gobyerno. Para yung gobyerno, magbibigay na lang sila doon sa mahihirap na LGUs. Para yung makaka-afford na LGUs at saka yung mga private na willing to pay for the vaccination of their employees, makabili na. Ang importante, yung FDA, magbigay na siya ng approval. Like for example, but hindi niya i-approve ang AstraZeneca? It has been approved by everybody. And then, uh, uh, and uh, this Pfizer and Moderna. So, iniintay na talang talaga ng mga bibili, yung approval ng FDA, at kukunin na nila yung supply nila para at least mauna na yung willing magbayad, di ba? Para hindi lahat ng responsibility nasa national government kasi hindi naman kaya ng national government na bayaran lahat. So if the LGUs who can afford, which can afford, magbabayad na, eh di okay lang yun, makakatulong yon And then yung mga private na willing to buy for their employees, pabayaan na. 
para makabawas na dun sa gastos. And ang iniintay lang nila yung FDA approval na emergency use. But ayaw ibigay ng FDA yun. Eh, in na ng US, in na ng UK, in na ng Japan, in na ng Singapore. What makes you na mas better ka kaysa doon sa mga first world nation na nag-approve na ng use noon? Kasi I'm sure they're very strict there, especially in the US. Eh, in na yan eh. O di approve na rin natin at makabili na yung mga LGUs and private sector para hindi tayo dependent lahat sa national government kasi mahirap naman na i-carry lahat ng national government ang gastos diyan. And then the economy can go on na para yung 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 uh, effect sa econo- economy at employment Eh, mabawasan na kasi if we will wait for the third quarter, hindi na tayo makaka-recover for 2021. Kailangan magsimula na tayo ng first quarter para yung recovery na pinipredict nila natin sa 2021 mangyari. Kasi kung sa third quarter pa, malayo yun. Mahirap yun. So, yun lang yung sinasabi ko. Dapat mag-approve na ang FDA for emergency use. Mr. President. Mr. President, the message of the members of the Senate are loud and clear uh, to the uh, department heads and the IATF. You Mr. President, unless Mr. President, Mr. President, very important. Like yes, to the Mr. President. Uh, again, so who's that? Mr. President, Senator Zubiri, Mr. President. Senator Zubiri, go ahead. Really quick lang, Mr. President. We provided that under the Bayanihan law. That was my amendment, Mr. President. My amendment in the Bayanihan law is that under Section 12, Procurement of COVID-19 Drugs and Vaccines, dinagay ko po ito, this is my amendment, that nothing in the act shall prohibit private entities from conducting research, developing, manufacturing, importing, distributing, or selling COVID-19 vaccines sourced from registered pharmaceutical companies subjects, subject to the provisions of this act. Naipaso ko po yan, Mr. President, so it's allowed by law. Thank you, Mr. President. All right, uh, very clear. So, Mr. President, uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, I think, I think FDA, uh, Domingo wants to uh, respond to react. All right, then we'll recognize Senator. Then, para isang sagutan na lang, Senator Marcos, Senator Gilon, go ahead, Senator Marcos first. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, umuusok po yung telepono ko uh, nung isang linggo pa dahil yung mga LGU nagtatawag, yung mga governors and city mayors, dahil uh, maliban pa sa FDA, may requirement pa yung NTF ng tripartite agreement of DOH, the pharma, and the LGU. Until to do, today, although there are claims na may nakatapos na ng uh, bilihan at negotiation, ang realidad, hindi natin naintindihan ko ang itsura ng tripartite tripartite agreement. Dahil hindi daw matapos-tapos, eto ang nagsasalita yung ating governor, uh, yung mga governors natin, at uh, pati yung mga city mayor nalilito. Dahil, in addition to the tripartite agreement, which they cannot figure out because there hasn't been a template, in addition, there's been the requirement that it be pegged to the price of the NTF. Eh, anong presyo yun? Nakablanco pa rin, as Senator Laxon said. So, nagkakalito also, for example, Vegan City signed an agreement but Ilocosur was not allowed to. So, paano ba yon? And uh, Iloilo City, ganun din po. Yung Iloilo, hindi pa nakakapasok yung probinsya. So, may request actually yung mga gobernador kung pwedeng idaan na para ma-rationalize kasi karambola na po at talagang unahan na lamang. Yung mga league presidents na lang ang hayaan pumirma on behalf of the LGU or come up with some systematic arrangement and most of all, finally determine the price because uh, they're not allowed to negotiate on their own. They need to be pegged down to the standard price of the NTF. Yun lang po. Senator Zeron, the minority leader, go ahead. Very quickly, very quickly, Mr. President, I would like to support and follow up on the query of Senator uh, Villar. Is it my understanding that because of it is only an emergency use authorization, the suppliers would only want to deal with the national government? 
That's a very important issue because uh, if that is a restriction, then we have to, I, there must be a solution that should be found so that we can acquire this faster. I would repeat, is the fact that it is only an emergency use authorization uh, would only allow the national government to negotiate with the supplier and the supplier would impose that condition that they only deal with the national government for various reasons. And second, is it true that the private sector has already signed a firm uh, supply agreements with the price fixed in the case of AstraZeneca at five US dollars per dose or $10 for the two doses required? Uh, just just those two questions, uh, Mr. President. All right, so who will answer first? Uh, Secretary yes, Edison, go ahead. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, just to really clear the air on this and make it very uh, unequivocal. Po, no? um, Senator, uh, the Senate Minority Leader po, is absolutely correct uh, in his statement earlier that the only way that a private company or an LGU can procure vaccines is through the national government because the authority being issued by the FDA is only an emergency use authority, which essentially means that a private company such as AstraZeneca, Pfizer, etc., cannot sell on a commercial basis. It can only sell uh, with the imprimatur of the national government because the national government has issued, through the FDA, has issued an emergency use authority. Oh. Okay, Secretary, may I, may I cut you? No? Yes, Bob. What's taking the government or the national government too long to act? Sir, I, if we, other countries can, why can't we? Sir, I, I, I don't think the national, it is unfair to say that the national government has taken too long because as was rightly pointed out earlier. Yeah, by, ito, by, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll cite two instances. Uh, ito, failure ito ng national government. Old issue ito. Secretary Luxin, Ambassador Maldes. Ito yung timeline of events. June 24, Pfizer sent an overview of the candidate vaccine. Pfizer, you know how long it took us to just sign the CDA, the Confidentiality Disclosure Agreement, 118 days, four months. Now, if 25 to 26 deaths per day and 1,300 infections per day in the urgent, I don't know what is. Kung ganyang kabagal yung kilos natin, no, just to sign a CDA, 118 days. And then here's another one. May 26, yung uh, Sinoparm, no, yung chairman ng uh, China National Pharmaceutical Company Limited sent a letter to Secretary Duque informing him that last May 12, Hindi May 26, ha? May 12, nag-inform sila na gusto nilang magkaroon ng collaborative clinical trials with the Philippines. Alam mo gano'ng katagal bago sa magot ang, ang uh, Department of Health? 10 days. May 22, ang sabi ng uh, nung chairman na Liu Jingxian, ano? ang sabi niya, thank you for your reply last May 22. So it took us 10 days just to reply. Hanggang ngayon, now, what's the status now of that offer from Sinopharm? I'll jump to another issue. In the recent dinner meeting with the ambassador, Chinese ambassador, this was overheard. Sabi niya, your officials, the Philippine officials, keep flirting with us, referring to the vaccines. But we need their commitment. And they don't want to commit. So the allocations, yung stocks na dapat naka-allocate sa Pilipinas, sabi niya, pag hindi kayo kumilos, we'll just give it to other countries. That's where we are. That's our problem. Eh kung sa isa doing business lang, bagsak na agad yung sa CDA pa lamang, isipin mo, four months, almost four months, 118 days. 
just to sign the CDA. Hindi pa to approval, ha? That's our problem. Kaya nga sabi ko yung questions ko would deal with practical issues. Kasi sabi nga nag-uusap kami ni Senate President. Kung makinig kami sa briefing, materials, wala tayong problema para tayo nasa langit eh. But it's in the implementation. No? Yung, yung reaction, yung responses to emergencies. I repeat, 25 to 26 persons or Filipinos per day ang namamatay since January last year. 1,300 yung na-infect daily. Hindi ba emergency yan? Wala bang sense of urgency? Why can't we respond or react or act on the initiatives of the other parties as quickly as we sense it as an emergency? Can you answer that question, Vince? Yes, sir. With respect to the issues for raised by uh, Senator Laxon on the other deals with the other companies, I think uh, Secretary Galvez will respond. But let me just respond po, to the issue raised earlier on AstraZeneca. I think the president, as early as last year, approved the uh, participation of the private sector in the purchase of the vaccines. And this was embodied. But still, it took us too long. Ano? And Sir, I'd like to echo the the remark made by the Minority Leader, Senator Rilon, ano, in fairness to John Galvez, he's doing everything he can ano, to pass track everything. Pero Secretary Galvez, alam mo, yung incompetence like the coronavirus is infectious. Nakakahawa yan. If you hang around <coughs> with incompetent people, in the long run, makahawa ka. Sir, I, I beg to disagree, sir. Sir, on time, sir, in China, sir, ngayon, kasi last, ano lang, sir, last Sunday, uh, we were able to, ano, to seal the deal. I cannot uh, disclose everything, but uh, the, ano, the disposition of the Chinese vaccine, uh, we will get 25 million on time. Uh, all the tranches are, ano, are included in there, very detailed. And we thank uh, uh, the ambassador for doing this for us. So, yung uh, text niyo po niya, sir, that was, uh, I think, last, last, ano, last, last week. But uh, I believe uh, we were able to, uh, to to seal the deal, the term sheet, uh, this uh, this Sunday, and uh, our no our our no our timeline for for the for the vaccine for the uh, vaccine that uh, they will give to us is uh, on on time, and we are very very happy for the Chinese government. Part of 118 days. Yes, sir. Actually, sir, uh, uh, delay sir, sir, between uh, the intent uh, or the the letter of intent of Pfizer. Presenting the overview ng kanilang candidate vaccine. Sir, actually, sir, yung Pfizer, sir. Uh, eh, hindi na kami ang sasalita niya, sina Secretary Luxin. Sabi nila, somebody drop the ball. But I think uh, Secretary Luxin sa uh, is ano, erroneous. Uh, I'm, I'm, we are the one who, ano, who, who, ano, who talk with, ano, but uh, Secretary Luxin doesn't know the negotiation. There are snags on this uh, the negotiation. So you still maintain na wala tayong, wala tayong problema? Yes, yes sir. Actually, sir, sir, maganda, sir. Uh, sir um, I, we are very thankful for five, sir. Because kasi yung allocation na yan, naka-allocate na po sa atin yan. Kung magkasano yung, ano, yung mga different companies. But, there is special allocation Charlie, for other countries are already inoculating. Even Bangladesh, meron na silang 30 million doses. Tayong Pilipinas, hanggang ngayon wala pa. We're still waiting. Sir, ang uh, actually sir yung ano yung uh, yung ano yung uh, mga nakikita natin sa ibang bansa. Actually titingnan natin sir yan. Yung mga supply na delivery nila is by by the 100,000 lang po sir at saka by the 3 million. You cannot uh, you cannot have a one bulk of that that uh, resources on one time. Even Israel stop uh, its inoculation because of lack of doses because there is a really an acute Ano po? Ano, ano po? Ano. Okay, last question on, on, on my part. So I can also give the others their chance to ask their questions. Can you at least share with us kailan yung unang rollout? Kailan yung unang-unang bakuna? That it will be on February 20. February 20. February 20. And ano po natin sir, ang nakita namin sir, the rollout that we will be first rollout is for the for the Gabi, if the, the negotiation with Gabi will be successful. So it will be in the first quarter. So kindly repeat, ano? we expect that on February 20, may makikita yung na-injectionan. No sir, uh, this is the delivery. Uh, the, the expected delivery. Ah, uh, delivery pa lang. <laughs> ang tanong ko nga, kailan yung unang bakuna? 
more or less on sir on that on sir on that uh, February 20 onwards kasi ano po natin sir is uh, how onward is onward uh, meaning meaning uh, more or less uh, on the, that that week sir on that, on that week so it will be on the third week of uh, kasi roughly anong para naman umasa yung kababayan natin na sa February 28 okay <laughs> sa March 1 mababakunahan sila pwede bang i-share mo lang sa amin <laughs> kailan yung unang bakuna sa tansya mo Pwede mo lang unang ang natin sir is considering that yun nga sir medyo I'm in a CBA. Ang natin sir natin sir is mga third week. I cannot understand. It means the third week or fourth week to bury. Kasi ano sir natin eh, the supply of the money is very volatile talaga sir. So delivery is in general terms. Yung tinatawag ng indicative, indicative dates. So meaning the indicative dates, it might... Uh, fall uh, early or uh, uh, all uh, the, or delivery will be late by one week or two weeks. So uh, to say to say, uh, we will be having at uh, the last or maybe last week of February. So promise. Yes, sir. That's will we will. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. Clarify for me. Clarify for me. Uh, what happens to the agreements being uh, entered into by the local government units? Anito. Ano yung dadaan pa rin sa inyo lahat yan? Yeah, yes, sir. Because of the EUA. Ang ano po, sir, natin, uh, we have an agreement with, you know, with the, the different companies that those, uh, kaya po, sir, medyo iba, uh, hindi po, sir, hindi po nakahuli po yun. Kasi po, ang, uh, ang companies, ang ano po na talaga nila, ang pinakano po nila is talagang dapat po mabigyan yun, dapat mabigyan. So, meaning yung, ano, yung geographical location, inanalyze nila ang pinaka, yung attack rates. So basically, yung HUCs, yung highly urbanized uh, cities, yun ang priority po for, no, for, for, the, no, for the procurement. So yung ibang province, medyo talaga mahuli because they are not included on the geographical location of priority areas. Okay, for example, uh, um, Basil has entered into agreement with uh, AstraZeneca. Yes, sir. Ang ano uh, sir, ang ano namin is... Um, uh, We can, we, may mga indicative dates na binigay sir sila, most, most likely sir, ano sir natin is uh, uh, second, second semester sir. Yung natin, na, na, nakita nyo po sa graph, na basically majority po ng mga procurements natin will be coming from the middle of, uh, middle of, the, of, of the year. Yung po ang well, ano po natin. Uh, what are we saying here? Ibig sabihin nito mga pinapasong agreements ito mga LGUs na ito, nangangako sila sa mga hostages nila. Hindi nila may di-deliver hanggat hindi kayo pumayag. Sir, actually, sir. Pangako sila ng pangako, tapos makabara sa inyo. Ganun ba? Sir, actually, sir, yung negotiation, sir, yan, is uh, with, the, with the LGUs. Uh, we talk with the LGUs. Uh, even nung ano, yung sa Manila, Manila, Metro Manila, we talk with the, ano, with the LGUs to include yung, ano, yung, uh, yung manufacturer. And they understand on the date of the delivery. Uh, even, ano, during, ano, during our planning, during our planning, for example, where we have an indicative dates of the different, ano, different, ano, different uh, uh, manufacturing company. And they said, which, ano, which, ano, which, uh, which, ano, which vaccine do you prepare? Ang sinasabi po nga po ng, ano, sinasabi po ng mga iba na kukunin na namin yung mauna. So those, ano, those uh, LGUs who intended to be uh, na nasa priority area, na pwede pong mag-ano natin, yun pong may pag-uusapan po na ng IITF. Because uh, we also consulted them, the different LGUs. So yung ano po yung nakikita po natin in each in each manufacturer uh, kasama po sa ano po yung mga tinatawag nating indicative uh, delivery it's i cannot no nilagay ko na po yun sa ano po nilagay ko na po yun sa aking uh, presentation on the the facing of the rollout and we brief the different LGUs tomorrow we will brief the the league of city mayors so that they will know uh, which brand at uh, which ano which vaccines are coming to them Limiting it to one vaccine, ano? Yes, sir. There is there is a portfolio of seven vaccines, regardless of the ano the 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 source. Basically, ang ano po natin apat po ang galing sa US, isang ang galing sa Russia, isang ang galing sa China, isang ang galing sa UK, at saka isang ang galing sa India, both India and US. So basically, majority po ng kinukuha po natin came from US, UK. Uh, India and also China and uh, Russia. 
What is that comment? Yes, uh, thank, you, Mr. President. thank you. Mr. President, this is just a short uh, comment uh, to uh, support and strengthen the uh, position stated by uh, Senator Ping Lacson. Uh, medyo matagal na talaga. And in fact, that's the main reason why the LGUs and the uh, private sector are uh, walking the extra mile to to do something no for their constituents but let me just put this on record mr president as of january uh january 10 2021 more than 24 million doses of covid-19 vaccines in 41 countries have been administered this is according to uh, the data collected by the Bloomberg, Mr. President. And according to Bloomberg, 8.35 billion doses, enough to cover half of the world's population, have already been secured or set aside by other countries. So this is this is very important, Mr. President. I think this information would give us uh, a, a sense of, uh, you know, point of view na kailangan talaga tayong umarangkada, Mr. President. And... Uh, Gagaya ng ilang mga kasamahan ko, Secretary Galvez, dito sa Senado, uh, umuusok din ho yung mga telepono namin, telepono ko, and uh, yung mga LGUs asking for help, asking for clarification. Uh, maganda ho na naririnig po kayo ngayon, but I hope that we'll be able to clear and uh, have a, a clear guidelines, Mr. President, this, uh, Secretary Galvez. Kasi yung ilang po mga LGUs, gusto nilang bumili, gusto nilang makipag-usap, hindi nila alam gagawin. Yung iba naman na... Nagsabi na oh, kanina binanggit na ni Senate President, nangako na po sila, nagbanggit na sila. And ayaw naman natin na maging uh, mag, 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 mag induce tayo ng false hope sa ating mga kababayan. Yun lang po, ginawa po. Right. Maraming uh, salamat. 31 seconds of Senator Lacson. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. Very quickly, no? how many doses have been secured? Because si Senator Villanueva mentioned the word secured. How many doses have we secured? Uh, potentially, ang nasecure na po natin kayo, sir, isang 30, 30 million. Uh, 30 million po ng Novavax. That is uh, the one that we have secured. And expendable to 10, 40, 40 million. Kasi uh, when we negotiated, uh, 30 million, we signed it uh, last ano, last uh, Secured ito, secured. Yes, sir. Uh, we already lock in. Lock That's in. three zero. Uh, three zero, uh, lock in. Million. Then it will be expandable to 10 million for the LDUs. Kasi nag-usap po kami ng, ano, ng representative, also representative of SRI. Uh, ito po lalaki. Nakita po namin yung SII will be our major partner because SII will be deploying AstraZeneca and also Novavax and also the variant of RBG. That's why we are deciding to go there so that uh, we can see the, you know, the potential and the center. Because SII will be, you know, will be building more than 6 billion doses for 21 and 2022. And uh, I believe the diplomatic relationship of uh, the president with the uh, President Modi will make a difference. So with that, uh, yun po ang ginagawa namin yung strategy. That's why we were able to lock in a potential uh, 40 million doses to SII. And maybe we can, you know, we can increase the, that for 2021 uh, with its, ano, its, uh, its uh, diplomatic relation that we have. Second, uh, uh, we cannot disclose uh, on the other, but uh, we are potentially signing the term ship of more or less another, another 60 million uh, within the week. So, more, all in all, sir, we can secure already 100, 100 million. Yung po kasi yung, ano, yung uh, allocation na yan, hindi po nawawala sa atin po yan. Uh, basically, yung sinasabi po natin sa, ano, sa Pfizer, nakalocate na po sa atin yan, at saka alam na po natin ang indicative date, and it will not change. Kaya po na, nakita natin na yung, yung sinasabi ng ating ambassador, na saka ni Secretary Luxin, na meron po na January na pupunta sa Manila, uh, I think uh, hindi po totoo yun kasi yung allocated allocation natin yan meron na pong indicative ano po yun time and basically ang sinabi sila sa amin during the start is basically as early as uh, maybe late of Q2 or early Q3 so kasi ang, ang ano po ito po ang para po malaman ng public pagka nag sign po na tayo ng term sheet nilaki na po natin yan, it will take 150 days for them to 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 ano to to ano, to, 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 ano, to to manage, procure, and uh, to produce, or even as uh, six months or seven months. So, napaka importante kaya po nga po yung ano yung yung ating private sector at saka yung ating uh, LG. So, mama po, dahil kasi wala ganon silang restriction, they can immediately lock in, immediately immediately lock in the, the supplies, so that yung first cycle ng ano ng first cycle ng ano nakagad, it can already produce the you know mag 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 mag
there are six countries who are also eyeing for that. And uh, I believe, you know, negotiation for, if you look at uh, Indonesia, they negotiated for AstraZeneca for as, as far as October. Ngayon lang po nila na-consumate. It, it will really take time because there is always a gridlock during the, 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 the negotiation of the contract. So yun lang po ang dapat manaman po natin, uh, ma your honors, but the negotiation is really very tedious. Napakahirap po kasi we have to defend our position also. All right, thank you. Uh, Senator Pia Caetano, you uh, recognize you have 10 minutes. Uh, yes, yeah, Senator Pontiveros, you Secretary. were raising your hand, right? Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, supportahan ko lang po yung advocacy ni Senate President Pro Tempore, Sen. Ralph, uh, yung ating birthday boy, Mr. President. At supportahan ko rin po yung importansya na binigay ni Senate Minority Leader Sen. Frank doon sa emergency use authorization. So una po, bakit nga ba hindi payagan at suportahan ang ating mga local government units at ang private sector na makipag-partner sa national government sa procurement ng kabuang kailangang vaccine supplies ng ating bansa down to the LGUs at posible sa mga workplaces ng mga kumpanya sa private sector. And tignan po natin, kanina sinabi uh, ng chairman ni Mr. President, no, mga sniper question. So ito, uh, kung sniper lang, sniping pag-uusapan natin, yung isang bullet, yung isang tool na pwede nating i-maximize ay itong emergency use authorization. Yung EUA na ina-applyan ng mga vaccine companies sa ating FDA. Ang uh, EUA po, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, ayon sa FDA mismo ay an authorization issued for unregistered drugs and vaccines in a public health emergency, which definitely itong COVID pandemic is at maalala natin, Mr. President, Mr. Chairman, sa ilalim ng local government code, precisely yung health ay isang i-denevolve uh, sa ating mga LGUs. During the last year of the pandemic po, ang mga LGUs ay naging partner uh, ng national government, pati ang private sector naging partner sa testing, sa contact tracing, sa quarantine, at saka sa treatment. Ngayon, sa fifth essential step na ito sa pandemic response, yung vaccines, bakit hindi patuloy na payagan at suportahan ang LGUs at ang private sector maging partner ng national government? Uh, isang tanong lang po sa ngayon, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. President, siguro sa FDA, meron ba kayong nakikitang paraan na maybe through additional allowable language sa maari nyong i-issue na EUA sa kung sinong vaccine company o mga vaccine companies to also explicitly include LGUs and the private sector dun sa EUA na yan just for this particular public health emergency na COVID pandemic. Sinasabi naman po kasi uh, ng national government, whole of government, whole of society approach. So bakit hindi rin dito sa EUA na makaparticipate ang LGUs? at saka ang private sector sa vaccine procurement. So yun po, Mr. Uh, Chairman, right, Mr. Uh, President, uh, hiling kong sagot sa FDA. 